Since ancient times, people have lived close to wildlife. There are many places in the world where people live in complete isolation from civilization. They make a living by hunting and farming, and it would seem such a life is quite harmonious. People hunt animals for their livelihood, as our ancestors did, but there are also cases when wildlife rebels against this arrangement, turns the tables, and hunts the people. What is driving the animals in this case? Why do they declare a war, killing people one by one? In our story today, we will talk about a wild boar which, for some unknown reason, began to attack people in a village. What made him take such measures, we will tell you today. Make yourself comfortable as we get started. This story happened in eastern Siberia. Spring that year began very early, but people were by no means happy about the sudden thaw, the reason being that one of the wild boars began to behave extremely aggressively towards people. He attacked anyone who dared go into the forest. What was also strange about his behavior was that he was not hunting for food. He would kill his victim and then leave the body in the forest. Sometimes it was impossible to even identify them. Only by their clothes could people determine who fell prey to this beast. The boar was elusive. People set up snares and traps, organized raids, but the boar was always one step ahead. It was as if he knew where a trap was expected for him so he wouldn't go near it and then would attack from the other side where he was not expected. The whole village lived in terror. People were afraid to go near the forest as the wild boar came very close to the village. By that time, he had already attacked seven people, two of whom died immediately. People were desperate. They didn't know what to do or how to catch this boar. The local government placed a bounty on the wild animal's head, but even experienced hunters could not track it down. Soon, the news about the ferocious boar spread throughout the nearby villages, and an old man, a yakut, came to the aid of the locals. He lived all his life in wild places and was quite an experienced hunter. But people were skeptical about him. The man was already very old. However, they didn't really have a choice since none of the locals could catch the wild boar. The Yakut said that he did not need money for catching the boar. All he asked for was some salt, matches, and cartridges. When all this was brought to him, the man said that he would go to the forest alone. He did not know how long he would stay there, but there was no need to go looking for him. He would come back only after the job was done. People were even more surprised that he did not take anyone to help him, but they did not argue. On the appointed day, the Yakut entered the forest and hid behind dense thickets. He had been gone for several days, and despite his request, people nevertheless went in search of him. Many were worried that the boar attacked him and tore him to pieces. It was already the fifth day after the hunter went into the forest alone. People organized a search party and went into the forest. What was their surprise when they met the elderly Yakut? He walked towards them, smeared with blood, carrying a heavy bag on his back. When they finally met, the Yakut threw the heavy bag on the ground and pulled out of it an incredibly large boar's head. Everyone present was in shock. How did this old man manage to deal with this huge, wild animal? However, the man did not go into details about how it all happened. The only thing he wanted to share was why the boar was so aggressive. When the Yakut pulled out the boar's head, he pointed out a wound under the animal's right eye. Apparently, it was an old, non-healing wound from which the hunter removed a bullet. Most likely, some hunter shot this boar, but important organs were not affected, yet the bullet got stuck in the head of the animal and brought him unbearable pain. Apparently, driven by this pain, the boar attacked people, thus wanting to take revenge on them for its suffering. Who knows, perhaps if some hunter had not shot this boar, then all these killings could have been avoided. So, friends, when a person invades nature, shooting at animals, then nature will begin to defend itself from intruders. People thought that the boar bullied people for no reason, but the truth was revealed. The reason for this behavior was man himself. Animals often do not know how to protect themselves from poachers, so they choose the simplest option to respond with aggression. Everything in our life has its reason, and sometimes it depends only on us what seed we sow, the seed of peace and kindness or the seed of cruelty and aggression. Do you agree? Share your opinion in the comments.